In this session, we take a look at customer relationship management as a system, and we look at the components of these systems. First, we'll see, we'll, we'll take an overview, uh, umbrella look at the organization and the types of systems that organizations should have, and then where customer relations, CRM systems, where do they fit in, and also the components of which such a customer relationship management uh, system would exist of. In other words, uh, things like front office, office operations, the people at the front desk, uh, back up office operations, marketing, uh, the analysis, and business-to-business -business relationships. So what are the components of a customer relationship management system? Uh, I present a number of models here which would be of great benefit to you to understand. Let's have a look at these customer relationship management systems and their components. If you want to understand customer relations management systems, then we need to understand the other systems in the organization so that we can see CRM in context. Now, you can see on your screen that there's various system types in an organization, seven to be exact. In other words, seven categories or seven groups of systems. The first is your strategic systems. They basically help the organization to stay relevant and to survive. And these could be your performance scorecards, environmental analysis, uh, risk management, etc. Then you've got your communication systems, which is to inform and to grow. These vary from meetings uh, to decision making processes to social networking. Then we've got our knowledge management systems. These could be tacit or implicit knowledge. Uh, tacit knowledge is the knowledge which you which is in the heads of people. The danger here always is if somebody leaves the organization, how do we keep the knowledge? Um, that's tacit knowledge. And usually we keep that through mentorship programs where implicit knowledge is the knowledge that's implied in the processes of the work. So that's much easier. You can keep that with, uh, you can retain that through policy statements. Employee management systems. These are your recruitment selection, general HR systems. Then we've got our operational systems. These could be your commonly known as ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, Budgeting, Supply Chain Management, Finance. Then we've got our organizational dynamic systems. This is to understand the culture of the organization, culture, climate audits, uh, paradigm analysis, etc. And then here's what we are talking about in the session, your CRM system, customer management systems. The purpose of a CRM system is to manage customer retention and manage customer acquisition. Systems that you would have heard about here is general CRM, marketing, advertising, external communication. These are all systems that deal with the sponsorship of the organization. In other words, getting customers, attracting them, acquiring them, and then keeping them, CRM. So now that you see where CRM fits into the bigger picture of the organization, now we can go and look specifically at what a CRM system should entail. A CRM system basically has two dimensions. The one is operational and the other one is in customer intelligence. The one automates operational processes and the other analyzes the intelligence behind these processes. So when a customer walks through your door, the door of your business, then basically there is a specific process, an automated process which takes place. And this process is based on certain intelligence which we've gathered and analyzed to give that customer the best possible customer experience. Let's start with operational CRM. This entails the automation of processes in order to increase the efficiency and professionalism of marketing and frontline service staff. I almost want to add to this definition by saying it's not just about enhancing the professionalism of frontline staff, but also to enhance the customer experience. McDonald's is a good example, one of the top food franchises in the world very much an automated system. If you walk into McDonald's and you say, I want a number three, or I want a Big Mac burger, there's a specific process that kicks in. Something happens and it's like a dominoes. You know, the one hits the other one and we get the hamburger and we walk out. So there's a customer experience and that customer experience is process driven. The more you can, the more you can put your customer experience into a well-determined, well-defined process, the less likely it is that customers would be unhappy because they know what to expect and they, you know, what they expect is time bound. 
earlier in this clip I said that you know there's two parts there's the operational part and the the intelligence part but these things are not really equal you know it's not a 50 50 relationship your your operational CRM basically consists of three parts front office operations back office operations and business relationships whereas your intelligence part is your analysis part now let's have a look at these four dimensions the front office operations is the most important part of CRM this is where customer meets organization all direct interaction where there's a customer meeting the organization is a front office operation so whether the customer calls a call center uh, is on the web busy with an online service or whether there's direct client client customer interaction this is a front office operation that's your crucial that's your high risk part of crm that's where the rubber hits the road then your back office operations, this is usually uh, our marketing, crisis management, advertising. This is where we attract the customers. This usually happens before the customer meets the organization. Then there's business relationship. In other words, a business to business relationship where your business relates to another business. Um, this is quite high level negotiations. And yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's not an immediate and one on one relationship. These usually take time to grow. And if they established it, usually takes time to break as well analysis is your intelligence part this is where you develop the database target behavior understand your customers um, this is where you where you implement your your CRM strategies and you mine data if you go onto a website and people ask you whether this is still your email address then they're busy data mining and these are the four core concepts of CRM now let's look at the energy distribution here. Yeah, I've already talked about this. I said that operational CRM takes the bulk, 75%. If we had to divide this into equals, we would say front office operations, 25, back office operations, 25, business relationships, 25, and then your analysis, 25. Now it's never really like this. This would immensely depend on your business. I mean, if, you, if you're primarily a business that deals with other businesses, then your business relationships would probably be 50 or more. Um, you, you know, it depends on how much marketing you need to get your stuff sold. Otherwise, so so the different percentages here would very much determine is very much determined by what type of business you're in. The analysis would always be the smallest part of of your of of your energy that you spend on CRM. Your front office operations is always a stimulus response uh, relationship or, or, or system. You need to work out how to very quickly and effectively sort out, give a solution, a response solution to whatever the customer brings in. When customers enter your system, they basically either are going to complain about something or they're going to inquire about something. It's very rare for customers to come in and compliment you for something. So, you know, we don't even really cater for that because it, it makes us feel good, but it doesn't really teach us anything. So from problems or complaints, we learn and we internalize and we fix. And from inquiries, we give very quick and effective resolution. So your front desk should be geared, firstly, to effectively, one, deal with the problem, sort it out, and two, to process this problem so that it's internalized and the whole organization learns. Secondly, your front desk clerk should be very quick to give information. This is why customers meet the organization. There's no other reason. They either want to know something or they want to complain about something. So um, we go through a process here where there's a need, there's a response. If it's not satisfied, there's a second response. I don't think that there should be more than three. If, uh, if, if you can't sort out the problem on level three, then there's something wrong with your CRM system. The back office operations is usually your marketing function. Um, we advertise, we solve crisis solutions. Now, crisis solution is not the same as CRM. In CRM, you solve a face-to-face -face crisis or problem with the customer. This is more the, the bigger event of things where your organization has done something stupid or something wrong. Let's say you have a factory and there's been an explosion, then somebody needs to go and remedy this. So that, that's not seen as a CRM function, that's seen as a, as a crisis solution function where you sort out a problem and make sure that the damage doesn't spread further than it already is. So uh, that's, that's, uh, we, we usually call these people spin doctors, very common in political circles. Then we've got your general marketing, uh, where you put billboards up and advertising and so forth. Uh, your ambassadors and advocates, very important if you could get people, celebrities to s sponsor your cause. 
many organizations sponsor celebrities so that they can also you know spread the word of your organization collectively these items bring about customer attraction now i'm going to end this session here you might ask but what about um, the business to business relationships and uh, you know that's something that we have already discussed in one of my other videos so these things that i haven't touched here are touched thoroughly in my other video clips so i recommend that you watch them